What's up, YouTube? Today we're going to be drawing some... Mickey balloons from Walt Disney World Resort. That's right. We recently went on a vacation to Walt Disney World and we bought some. On the last day we were there, we bought some <laughs> Mickey balloons. And there are these really, really cool balloons. We'll put some pictures in at the end. Uh, like a balloon inside of a balloon. So there were these clear balloons with Mickey, Mickey heads inside, right? And they were really tough balloons, so we were like, oh no, we can't bring them on the plane. Yeah, we had to leave them behind. We were very sad. So we're going to draw them today. Yes. As like a way of remembering how cool those balloons were and how much fun we had on our trip, right? Yes, it was right. so much fun. It was so much fun. We wish we could go back, but we're back to reality. So we're going to have some fun with drawing them. Yes. Your mark, get set. Go! All right, Maddie, you ready to draw our balloon? Yes, let's do this. All right, so we're drawing Mickey Balloon today, as you know, because we already said it in the intro. And we're gonna start with a big circle. We've got our pencils in case our circles don't come out quite right. But we're also not gonna worry too much if they don't. Right? Yep, I'm, I'm pretty happy with mine. I'm just gonna fix this side and try to make it more like that. Side. Just gonna fix that one side. And this is why we're using pencil today, in case you're not quite happy with it. And you guys at something. home don't have to go as dark as us. We're just going a little bit darker so that we can, so that you know where to draw and where we are drawing. And we're not gonna try to worry too much about mistakes today because we're not going for, for, for perfection, Maddie. We're going for... Fun. We're going for fun, right? And if we worry too much about all the little mistakes, we won't have any fun. Good job, Mads. There. All right. Better. Now at the very bottom, we're going to put in our little the place where the air goes in to the balloon, or in this case, helium. So we want to find the middle of the circle, approximately. And then we want to kind of make a note of where that is at the bottom. Okay, so that would be the center. And then we're going to we're gonna make the spot where the air goes in just a little bit wider. All right, and then we're going, this is how we decide we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it like it's bulging out just a tiny bit on each side. And then we draw a line across with a little curve in it. The line has a little curve in it. That's where the string is tied on. And then at the bottom, we have like a, an oval. It's like a nice little oval. That's like the mouth of that little spot with the air. Mm. The air goes in, the helium goes in. All right, we can make these lines thicker later, but then coming out of the middle of the balloon is a wavy line representing the string. Cool. Our balloons are pretty awesome so far. Yeah. Now we just have to put what inside, Maddie? The Mickey head. That's right, the Mickey head. Which is also head. a balloon. Okay, so this is a balloon inside of a balloon, right? Yep. So here we go. We're going to, again, remind ourselves where the middle is. And I'm just gonna put a little guideline right like that. I can erase that later. That just lets me know where the approximate center is. And then on each side of the guideline, we're gonna to wanna to make sure we have an ear here and an ear here. And then we'll be off to a good start, okay? Mm -hmm. So our Mickey ears are going to be like big C shapes. All right, so I'm gonna put my right one on first. I'm gonna swoop it out like this. Swoop it down like this. It actually looks really good. Yeah, I mean, you can almost think of it as like almost a whole circle. You're just cutting off this very bottom part. Cool. Okay, I think I can make some adjustments when you finish. Yeah, and then coming across the center is the top of Mickey's head. Good job, Mads. And then on the other side, we just have to try to repeat what we did over here. This is the tough part. Okay, if we like what it looks like over here, trying to do the same on, on this side can be can be challenging. That's why we have our pencils again. And don't, don't sweat the small mistakes. Just get it close, just get it close. That's right. Okay, that is the best I can That's really, really good. Now, you should, now, if you just, now your challenge would be to match that one to that one. <sighs> I think I'm good. I don't want to mess around with it too I think much. I'm going to accept mine for now, and then we can we can always adjust when we do the sharp. All right, yes. so for, for the bottom, we just have to do a big curved line. 
to finish off Mickey's head. Ready? Definitely can make some adjustments. Cool. But can we have pencil, right? Yeah. I'm good with mine. Good with yours, and I'm good with mine. So, I think we did a great job. Now yes. it's time for Sharpie. a little bit of Sharpie. Oops, that's very sad. All right, here we go. Sharpie time. Well, I think I'm going to do a pink Mickey. Even though I don't think they sell them at Disney World. Maybe they do? They didn't where we were trying to buy them, but that doesn't mean yeah, they don't, we right? we were trying to do that at the fireworks show, so they only had red, yellow, blue, and green. Maybe there's a pink one, we just didn't see it. Or maybe there is. I well, want to do a pink one. If you're doing pink, guess what color I have to do? Blue. Blue. And I'm going to do black, like one of my favorite color blues. Can you sharpen that for me? Yes. And here we go. I almost started calling in here. I would have been so upset. Okay. Something happens that's never happened before. What? My Sharpie, I think it's because I colored over colored pencil. The Sharpie got on my hand and then smeared onto my drawing, but it erased because it's on, on top of Sharpie, on top of. Whoa, on top that's of, um, cool. Colored pencil. And I gotta erase some things. Mads and I are gonna shade a little bit. So, black. Let's grab a black. So the sun is coming from this way. We're just gonna do a few like sun lines, okay? And what those are is just straight lines. Just watch what I do before. This ball, remember, is clear. Yes, they are clear. So these lines, whether you wanna do them or not, it's up to you, are gonna represent like just bouncing off the balloon. And again, you don't have to do them. You can break the lines. Yep, you know, they don't have to be continuous lines. You can break them up. It just gives it a little something. And you can do like, yep, just do little segments and parts. Good, that's good. That's good. Now, on this side of the balloon, it's a little darker, and the inner balloon, it's two balloons, I want to shade a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna do a line like from mid balloon to like, mid balloon and I'm just gonna shade it lightly just remembering that it's clear it's a clear balloon so I've got to go super lightly it's gonna be like a gray yeah anything like that will do ready then you take your finger yep. and you smear it works a little we should have maybe used pencil it works a little bit better with pencil but you can see it gets on your finger yep and you're just smearing it in it's a nice little kind of hurts a little bit. Yeah. Can you use pencil? Kind of Maybe we want to switch over to pencil. Just so it'll smear a little bit. Just go over it a little bit. It needs to be gone over anyways. Yeah, and now smear it. Smear it yep. And the softer the pencil you use, the better it smears. That's why I like charcoal smears the, smears the best. Mm, cool, huh? Hopefully it comes off though. It'll come off. It'll come off. Okay. Now you want to do the same thing real quick to the inner balloon. Ready? Okay. So on the, the side that, like, the, the sun's coming in this way, the side that the sun can't reach. So here and here, you're going to need to be shaded a bit. All right, and we're just keeping our shading real simple today because we could shade here too because the sun can't reach that really easy but we're just going to make it nice and simple today yeah we really do so here and here and then also here i like it i'm not going to fuss around with it too much i really really like it 
I'm just gonna try smearing it over. It's not gonna work very good, but. All right, my girl, the last thing we're gonna do, since it's the 50th anniversary of Disney, we're gonna put a 50 right in the center of this balloon, okay? I don't want it to take up the whole balloon because I don't want it to be the centerpiece, but I do want it to just be like an accent piece. Yeah. So, again, remembering where the center is, we need a five on this side and a zero on this side. So ready? Watch how we're gonna do this. Straight across, down, and then this five is a unique five. It's like a Disney brand five. It goes down, and it's real big. It goes off to the side like this. Good job, really good. And then the zero is not even with the top of the 50. The zero is down a bit. Yeah, it's kind of like an O, like compared to the five. Yeah, exactly. So it's like, looks like that. Good job. And we're gonna thicken it a bit, just to give it, just give it a little definition. And you can tell it's a little weird when you draw. Don't, make sure you don't touch it because it's on top of colored pencil, it will smear. Yes. Kind of leaves awesome. little lines in it too. It's all right though. It does, but this is gonna be awesome. Yeah. I love it, kiddo. What do you think? I like it. Yeah. Definitely reminds me of Archer. This one is so awesome. We had a great time, didn't we? We can share some of our th the things that we did and the things that we discovered as an inspiration, and we can share them with the craft kids, all the craft kids out there, can't we? Yes. And <laughs> one, one, two, two three. three. We had such a really awesome time drawing these. We hope they came out pretty well. Yeah. Um, we had lots of good memories while we were drawing these. So, hope yeah. you like them. If they like them, what should they do? They should subscribe to our channel and hit the bell, of course. That's right. And maybe ask your parents if you can subscribe. And smash that like button. Or hammer that like button, yes. as we like to say. Yep. Talk to you next time. Bye! Bye. 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 Mm-hmm.